we've got congressional oversight and judicial oversight. And if people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust uh, federal judges to make sure that we're abiding by the Constitution, due process, and rule of law, then we're going to have some problems here. Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. So President Obama says the country has, quote, some problems. Is he maybe understating those problems? Wonderland columnist Dan Henninger joins me now. Dan, your column today, you quote this amazing number. You say 53% of Americans don't trust the federal government to protect our liberties. Uh, is the president understating the level of discomfort out there about Big Brother? I th think he is understating it, Mary. Uh, that was a Pew uh, poll that came out in January, and indeed 53% of Americans, for the first time, a majority feel the federal government is a direct threat to their freedom and their rights. Oh, so this, this is before the IRS scandal oh, yeah. and all of these things. This oh, was okay. in January, okay. but it's the first time it's gone over 50%. And uh, this isn't just concerns about big government. This is a direct threat to freedom and, liber and uh, rights, which I think is, is really quite astonishing. Now, why is this happening? You've got the president here struggling to convince the American people that they can be trusted with this NSA surveillance program. In my column, I note that this is the same president whose IRS in 2010 was conducting these over-the-top audits against a long list of groups, most of them are related to the Tea Party, that had formed spontaneously to participate in politics. And many of them were put out of business by the federal government. So for starters, I think that's a big reason why people do not trust the Obama administration. But Dan, is it, is it more than that? Does it, does it go beyond the scandals into the, the regulatory state, the, the onerous taxes in some of our big cities, like the ones that we're, we're sitting in right now? I think a couple of things. It's kind of a perfect storm of anxiety, Mary. We're talking about this because of the NSA surveillance program, the idea that you have this eye in the sky, big brother. And I think that is of a piece with the sort of, as I say, anxieties people feel about big data. The fact that your smartphone, your PC can be monitored, is monitored by the you know, by some of these companies who then sell some of this information to marketers. And so we all know that's going on. We don't necessarily like it, but it's part of the new world that we're suddenly living in. And I think the Obama idea that the government should get bigger and more benevolent with more regulation is reaching a kind of breaking point with people on these points of how much stuff should they have looking over their shoulder, whether it's the private sector and all of these digital technologies or the government. Well, when Americans have been uncomfortable with what their government is doing in the past, they've just turfed the guys out. So uh, are you kind of laying a scenario here for a big change next year in the congressional elections? Yeah, I think it could feed into that, Mary. I think if you are a Democrat and you agree with Obama that we should have more government, that there's kind of an early warning here that you should step back and maybe try to uh, uh, modify that position a little bit because I think perhaps President Obama has overstepped. I don't think the Democrats are ever going to say that we're for a smaller government. <laughs> but I think the, his idea that it's all good, all big, and all benevolent, I think is running into a wall of opposition well, out how, there right how now. How is the implementation of Obamacare going to play into this? Because we're, it's going to start in a couple of months. It's part of it because the impl implementation is proving to be so difficult. And I think a sort of obvious lesson of that, Mary, is that this program was so big and so complex that it cannot easily be implemented, if at all. And, you know, people take a kind of obvious lesson away from that. It's too big. It's too complicated. Uh, Dan, I know you have a finite space for the column in the newspaper and the print edition. Right. Um, but one thing that you didn't address is how to fix this anxiety. I mean, what needs to happen here? Do we need to see heads roll at the IRS? Does Eric Holder need to step down? I mean, what or, or well, I maybe think, those are the wrong solutions. No, I think we do need uh, more transparency, and probably the NSA needs to talk a little bit more about, as General Alexander said in his testimony, the plots that they have thwarted using this technology. But to come back to the IRS, main uh, these audits that they conducted these groups, they were trying to conduct politics. If we're going to work our way through this controversial uh, technology and so we're going to need to talk about it because it all feeds into politics. Eventually someone wants to pass a law and unless people <laughs> are free to participate in politics uh, we're going to run into problems. We're going to run into problems. Wonderland columnist Dan Henninger, thanks very much.